Hey guys, well hello there, and good morning. You can hear the snow crunching underneath my feet, and I'm just sort of walking outside my van, peering in to see what it looks like from the outside, and you can see my kitchenette. That sound you hear is my diesel heater starting up. Let's see if I can focus this a little more. And what you see here right now is this thing, ultra slim wire light set, AKA fairy lights. And it appears to be, well, it is not appears to be, it is battery operated and it takes three AA batteries. Not sure how long that'll last, but we'll try it out. And here we go. I added the batteries, AKA. I upfitted them. I like using that expression, AKA. It sounds technical. Anyway, I turned it over. I put the cover on and there's a switch there. And I'm gonna turn that on. Wow, check it out. Okay, looks legit. Looks legit. You know what, Epic people? It's the little things, really. Lights are so pretty. But guys, seriously, look how much light that gives off. And it was like, I think like five bucks, not even. And I picked it up at a Walmart. Well, I didn't pick it up. I had somebody else pick it up for me. I guess you could say it would be a gift because I didn't give them any money for it and they just sort of got it for me. I like it. It's got that use the force, Luke. Whoosh. But wait, there's more. Check this out. Let's see if I can find the switch. Let me struggle here for a bit. There we go. Oh, look at that. Check it out. I'm gonna have like a caravan, minivan, dance party here. Or maybe not. You can always dance in your mind. And again, but wait, there's more. This one here, I think, is my favorite. Check it out. Wow. Are you not entertained? All this entertainment coming from this fairy light. But look, it's so cool. And wow, look at this. It even comes with a product manual. Very legit. Nice little details like that. You know, just in case you don't know how to put in batteries or you want to know how things work. That's all cool. And there you have it. Please support my channel by commenting and subscribing. It's free and it can help you with your own tiny home build as I will be giving out free tips and tricks on how you can make it happen. And if you believe someone else may benefit, please share the video of my curated playlist. Okay, take three coming up here. And this was from a question. Somebody had asked me, 
How did you get that barrier thing up there at the top of your like roof, like your bulkhead? And this is how I did it. See that piece of wood there? That was, I found that some more. I cleaned it up and I cut it and I glued it up there with some really strong glue. I can't remember what it is. And then I created the bulkhead part that sort of contoured to the top of the roof there. And so you had this little barrier and that's all it was. And then I, I screwed it in. So something very simple, something that I knew how to do. Now, it may not be what you should do or how to do it. I'm not a professional at this, okay? I'm just some dude in Ontario putting together his van and learning as much about this stuff. Uh, I don't profess to be a professional, but at the same time, I think I've got some pretty okay ideas. But anyway, there's my the bed area. What a wonderful mess. Anyway, guys, anyway, that's how I did it. Uh, maybe I'll do a much more comprehensive video at some point, but uh, hopefully it kind of helps out. And that's what it looks like.